Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is a personal profile on Jeff Carr, a, an individual who has been very, very Im important uh, in terms of uh, a number of things dealing with the theater, a uh, number of things dealing with education, a person I've had an opportunity to uh, know for the last many years, even as a student at uh, Tennessee State uh, University. And of course, Jay, let me, uh, Jeff, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning and to tell you how delighted we are to uh, have an opportunity to see you uh, again, that uh, we've been involved with you for the last, well, since, since uh, the 1980s, early parts of the 1980s, yes, when you were a student at uh, Tennessee State University, the uh, president of the Student Government Association, and uh, created a lot of problems in a real <laughs> sense for a lot of folks because uh, I think it was because of the activity that you and the students at that time became involved in that we have uh, the combination of uh, Tennessee State University and the University of Tennessee at Nashville at one time and uh, there's a number of other things that are associated with that. Let's talk about that by having you to give us an, uh, a, 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 some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms and eventually leading you to a situation where the uh, community saw you sitting on the top of a theater here. <laughs> <laughs> talk about that, uh, yeah. Jeff. Yes, sir, Doc. First off, it's my honor to be here and to be sitting here with you because you are very much an icon in the local community, over 20 years of experience on television, uh, very much a historian, a teacher, a mentor, and, and have served as that for so many students out there, so many people who have encountered you. So I'm honored to be able to sit across from you and have a dialogue again. Good. Uh, and yeah, we go back to the Tennessee State days, mm -hmm. uh, the family tradition. Uh, I'm from Nashville, went to Metro Schools, uh, ran into a little trouble when I was in high school, got kicked out of school mm -hmm. right before graduation. I had to go spend a little more time in high school, but when I got out, I ended up at Tennessee State University, mm -hmm. where I always wanted to be, I always wanted to play in the band. Uh, my brother started school there a couple of years ahead of me. Uh, he was in the band too. We were both in theater and drama, learning from people like W. Dury Cox and mm -hmm. H. Devereaux Brady and Sandra Holt and the Hockett brothers, all of the great tradition people out there who taught us uh, our craft mm -hmm. and gave us a lot in terms of self-esteem. Uh, being able to be in a position like that at Tennessee State was inspiring. Uh, when I got there, my brother and Gus Macedo and everybody was in the student government. Uh, and that's what I wanted to do. So we knew that there were certain people that you had to, certain classes you had Good. to take. One of them was your class in history. Uh, there are certain people you had to know. Uh, there were certain ways you had to walk. So when I got to campus, I was not the guy that I am now. You know, I was just a kind of wandering young man. You were a freshman student. I was a freshman <laughs> student, and I was totally fresh. I, I didn't know anything. But I, you couldn't tell me that. But the tradition that was at TSU at the time from the professors, uh, and from the students and student leaders uh, was such that they would stop you and say, young man, look, uh, what's in your book bag? What are you reading? Um, what classes are you taking? It's not cool to have a low GPA. And to have peers and mentors like that who could tell you that was invaluable to my development as a young man. So that's why I owe a lot to TSU. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother at the time uh, was, the next year was SGA president. Mm -hmm. Three years later, I was SGA president. We were the first brothers to ever both be SGA president. Uh, Greg came through the whole uh, Geyer decision with the merger. I came through the whole sit-in tradition to get all of the buildings built on the campus. Mm -hmm. And we just learned that uh, that's what you do. You are activists, you are scholars, you work hard, you pay attention to the traditions that have gone before you. And from there, I ended up graduating um, cum laude from Tennessee State and spent the next few years in a successful career in acting, uh, mm -hmm. successful career in writing, mm -hmm. uh, producing, uh, doing some television work, mm -hmm. uh, picking up things from people all over the place mm -hmm. and turning that into uh, a career. Mm -hmm. And that has led me through everything from community activism mm -hmm. uh, into the ministry and beyond. Mm -hmm. And I'm just excited to be able to continue to have opportunities to do what I'm doing. And now you're stationed here in Nashville, Tennessee, and you've got, now you are the uh, director of the, uh, uh, the theater in Nashville here. Now, we'll, yes, sir. How, how, we'll talk about that during mm -hmm. the second segment, but start us off on that. How did that start? Uh, years ago, I was finding myself in the middle of a career that was going pretty well. Mm -hmm. I was living in New York at the time. I lived there almost three years, traveling from coast to coast, doing acting mm -hmm. and writing and directing. And I was sitting in a dressing room one night 
at the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. They'd done this amazing big production. I was doing a season there. And I started thinking, I said, wow, it would really be nice if black folk could have something like this. Okay, of course, that's where it started. Let us yeah. take this first commercial break. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 